Hello and welcome back to the Smart Excel. This video is all about the discount calculator which you can see on the screen. You know, when you are in a hyperfile job and when you are in a procurement department or a commercial department and you need to have negotiate, sometimes you have a quote and but the vendor gives you a negotiable price and the total value. But each of the items have been segregated for the different types, different sort of departments or different uh, sites. So you need to be, you need to do justice with all the sites. So you should have a discount, overall discount on each item. So I'm going to tell you, tell you that if you get a discount and if you want to find the overall discount, how can you do that? So one is the method and in the other we are on this column will be hidden so you will not have an extra column so i'll be showing you to do in the, uh, both the ways and it's a common simple way so if you suppose it's a uh, total is 48900 and uh, the vendor is giving you a discount of 3900 and is telling that i'm going to you can have this for 45000 bucks so you can see the discount will be the discount forty thousand bucks. So I'm gonna for, I'm gonna calculate this over here forty five thousand forty five thousand bucks. So the discount will be around something around this value minus this value. So this is the way my discount. So I have to apply on all the items in this column on each and every item and I should have a formula to that so the formula is discount value divided by the total value so it will be like this value the discount value so I got a discount of this divided by the total value the previous total value so the amount over here is this one now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this amount as a benchmark and I'm going to log this as F4 so now this is my first amount for this item and I've got a discount on this as a percentage so what will be my discount value so the formula is this multiplied by this so if I trust 2400 now I'm going to get it as a 1911 and then what is going to be the total value after the discount? So total value after the discount will be like this value minus sorry, minus this value. So the total value will be twenty two thousand eighty five point nine. So when I am this was the original value. So after negotiation. So I got a, a bulk negotiation of 3,900 on the whole quotation. So I'm going to apply it for each and every item. I can get a bulk discount, but as I told you, this are for different sites. So I have to segregate it. And each value should be calculated. So now we can, what I'm doing is I'll be pulling down the angry rabbit. So I got a total. So this is the total for the... So so now I'm going to have the same total here. So I'm going to see control C and control V. So you can see this is the total new total of the LPO. So if you check the dis if you check the discount equal to minus this, so you will get the answer as three. So this is a simple way where you can have a discount on each item or if you have suppose if somebody is saying i'm going to give more discount than this you can change this and you can do the changes in this one directly with whatever formula is so each item can be deductible on the basis of the post discount so if you have percentage discount each one you have to do the same formula the, the, the formula is discount value divided by the total value so now this is done in this way now, same way if you don't have want to have this column or fixed discount that also is to be done. 
So the same way, just you have to do is you have 74 and 750, and the vendor is giving to give discount total value of 70k. So 70k will be like 70. So the discount will be like this minus this. Already the formula is there. So I can show you again. Discount value divided by the total value, not the after discount value, but the total value. So this is the discount value. So what I'm going to do is the direct formula I'll be adding it after this one multiplied by this total because this is going to be a fixed discount. So I can log this in F4 and I will hit enter. So now this is my after discount price. The total value will be this value minus this value. So this will be my new value. So when I'm going to pull this down, so all of the formula is already here. So I got the value over here. So this is my discount and this is my new balance. I'm going to bold this. So this is the two ways where we can get the discount on the things on bulk discounts and get the uh, get the discount on all in each item so in this way it's simple it will be fixed amount so we'll be locking this so, but here you can make segregation if somebody is giving you a one percent discount you can make it into one so the formulas will change oh, sorry 0.5 or whatever whatever is it the formula will change accordingly so i hope you understand this video and uh, you know the more the techniques are simple and this logic is also a simple logic so next uh, video i'll be come showing you how to do how to do the vat calculation reversal and uh, if you have paid a vat and uh, you don't know how to get the reversal amount how to have a formula in the reversals so till then please subscribe to my channel please hit the bell icon and uh, please share this video and I'm going to see you in the next video soon. Thank you very much.